Hello, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media, and today I want to show you how you create a carousel ad in the back end of your ads manager. So this is also known as a dark post. It's called a dark post because it cannot be seen on your Facebook business page. However, it does go in the news feeds of the people that you target through your advertising campaign. So this is going to be a carousel example where we can load up to 10 photos. So the first thing I did was I went into my ads manager and I clicked the little green box that said create ad. And now I'm here because this ad is for real estate, it is a special ad category. Now this is also as of 2020 a brand new box that uh, for real estate, employment, um, mortgage brokers, etc. You must click that box right there. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click our consideration or our objective. As you see I'm right here on the campaign level and it wants to know what type of ad I want to create. Because I want to do a carousel ad it is called a traffic ad and I go ahead and click it I highly suggest that you name your ads so when you're going to look at how they're performing you can tell them apart and the next thing I want to do is I want to just copy this uh, campaign name because I want to add it on all three of the pages on the campaign page on the ad set page and the ad page just by keeping everything nice and clean and together. Now we're going to go ahead and click on continue. And this takes us to our second page, which is the ad set. This is when we pick our audience and how much we want to spend. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the name of this campaign right in here so it stays on every single page. And then I'm going to uh, pick one of my saved audiences and I can see that things have been, um, I'm just going to move that audience. There we go. So I've created a bunch of audiences and they are saved. And because this is real estate, I go with a lot of other options besides just real estate. First time buyer, house hunting, and I simply went into ad demographic interest or behavior and I just started typing out what uh, was more real estate related. If I needed more suggestions because I couldn't think of any, I would click on suggestions and Facebook gives me lots of other suggestions um, that fall under that category. Now I want you to note that you cannot use a postal code any longer or a zip code and it has to be within 15 miles um, in order to use these features and locations. And the other thing you want to pay attention to is right here. It says people living in or recently in this location. No, I want people that are living in this location. Now that's a brand new default that Facebook has just added. So you kind of have to be on your toes today when you are creating your ad. You cannot adjust the age. You cannot change the gender. Um, a lot of new New rules and regulations are now um, being upheld by Facebook. In fact, right here it tells you zip code selection is unavailable um, and it does tell you about the 15 mile radius as well. So now that we've chosen our audience, we are going to scroll down and the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to choose our daily budget. However, I like to recommend that you choose your overall lifetime budget. Notice when I click that it automatically changed to $350. I just put my arrow behind the zero and back it out and now it's I'm not spending more than $35. Now this ad looks like it's running for one month and you can no longer spend a dollar a day on ads on Facebook. So we're actually going to have to click this and we're going to go back one week and that should fix the red notification as you see it has. So it's going to run just short of a month for $35. You can see that there's 1.6 million potential eyeballs that this ad could go in front of. We don't have a very big budget so Facebook is saying you might get 5 to 16 clicks a day and I think that my uh, client would be extremely pleased with that considering the amount of money that we're spending. And then you have your estimated daily reach. And that's really all you need to do on the ad set page. Let's go ahead and click continue and now we're going to the 
third and last page for creating your ad. And this, in fact, is where we create our ad. So this is more of the creative side. But you notice before I get started, I am once again adding the name of our campaign right here. And you can see if I was using an existing campaign, I would click this button and then I would simply have to choose between all the posts that I had right um, on the page already. But we're not doing that. We're actually creating a carousel post in the back end. So it will be a dark ad. So we need to click on create ad. Now we need to click on what we want to create, which type of format. And we said we want to do a carousel. We're clicking carousel. So here we can have two or more scrollable images, including a video. And now this is where we start our creative right here. We select an image and I have all my images um, saved on a file and here's my file so I'm not sure that I can pick more than one at a time because it's not letting me so we're gonna go one and it uploads okay and then we click continue and then we can go to our second photo and we can click select photo and we can upload the photo so I'm just gonna go that's a beautiful photo. We're going to add that photo. Fourth, this is how you just keep doing it. So you can see it's coming across right here, what our photos look like. Um, our third photo, select the image. It's kind of a slow process. So you need to make sure that you've got the time available to be doing this. That's a beautiful. So you would do this exact process that we are doing right now for as many photos as you want. You can see we're on one, two, three. All I have to do to add another one is click the plus sign. You see how it went to four? And I would put my cursor on the four and I would select the image. I would upload the image and I would just keep continuing doing exactly this. So it's rinse and repeat, up to 10 images. Facebook will tell you when you have uh, your 10th image or whether or not you can even add it because they might be using the website as a 10th image, which they often do. And so let's go back to image number one. So here we are on image number one. The next thing we want to do is we want to write a headline for the image and I've already written some things out here so I'm actually going to just add stunning home and go back to oop, the ad there we go and I'm going to drop it in and that's a little bit uh, stunning home I might take out There, now you can see stunning home, right? And where it says a little description at the bottom, I like to write Toronto. And you're gonna see down here, see how that just came in, Toronto and stunning home. So it's really um, coming along beautifully. This is on the first image. The next thing we wanna do is we want to scroll down to the primary text. Now I am gonna go back to where I have written everything out already and we're gonna copy it. And Command C is copy. We go back to the ad and primary text. I'm gonna drop it in. And now what you're gonna see is it all is added right up here. And so there we go. The last thing that we need is the URL. And I happen to have the URL in the primary text uh, from my Word document. So I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna drop it in right here and paste it in. There we go. It's loading the URL. It just took a minute. Now, if anyone clicks on any one of these photos, it is going to go to the website where this particular property is. Now, having said that, what you have to do is you have to click on each photo and 
add the URL, add your headline. So you might want to open up your uh, little copied Word document again and go back and drop your headline in there and there you go. Now let's see if we can scroll this over. There we go. So there's the arrows. You notice I took it off of the mobile view and I put it down onto the desktop view so we could scroll through the photos and it's a long process to create these. The description, um, I might not add anything on this description because of the words that I have here. And then you just click on the third photo and you need to drop the URL. So I'm gonna to have to copy it again here and drop it in here. And then you've got your headline. So what do I wanna say about this? Let's go with exceptional home. Copy there and go up here and drop it in the headline. Let's see how much of it shows. We'll click on the arrow to see how it looks. There it is. There's the words there. So you just go through this process over and over and over until you've got some words on each photo. You've dropped your link on each photo. You've got your primary text in here. And then you can scroll down to the very bottom. And your learn more, of course, is on each one of the photos. You could change that if you um, wanted to read what Facebook offers for you to say to people and see what fits best for your photos or what your objective, your goals are. Then you scroll to the very bottom and all you have to do is hit confirm. After that, your ad goes in front of the review for Facebook to make sure that it fits all of their policies, guidelines, and you haven't done anything, uh, and no infractions. Uh, if you do, they will send you a message to tell you that your ad is not going to be accepted, and then they'll tell you why, and you can challenge it. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait till it's accepted. It usually takes about 24 to 48 hours. However, now, uh, because of the coronavirus, Facebook has sent uh, a lot of their majority of the people that work at head office home. So they are working from home remotely, which means that it's taking a little bit longer to get your ads accepted today. And we are in March of 2020. Um, either than that, um, once your ad is accepted, you should give it three to four days to start working. And then you should go back in and check it for its accuracy. How's it performing? Um, did you choose the right audience? Have you got a good visual? All of these things will become really important to make sure that your ad is performing at its best optimum opportunity for you to get the best eyeballs and engagement on your content. So this is called a dark ad. This is done in the ads manager of Facebook and I hope that this helps you be a better ninja with your Facebook social media. My name is Heather and let's keep it simple. Please remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be updated every time I put a new video on social media. Thank you.